Since 1985, Mary Stopes Kenya has prided itself in providing high-quality, affordable and client-centered reproductive health services to millions of men and women in Kenya with a focus on the young people. Mary Stopes Kenya is a non-governmental organization affiliated to Mary Stopes International, a partnership of 43 programs working across the world. Marie Stopes came to Kenya 30 years ago to respond to the government's you know, wishes and needs for um, an organisation that could really deliver excellent reproductive health services. At that time, Kenya, like most African countries, had very high maternal mortality and morbidity rates. So that's women who are dying just because they're pregnant. And so Marie Stopes' response to that was to ensure there was equal and universal access to reproductive health, and that means good quality family planning services, and also to ensure that every woman has children by choice and not by chance. Mary Stopes Kenya offers a wide range of family planning services through its delivery channels that include 23 clinics, 14 outreach teams, social marketing, an international training centre and over 400 franchised Amua family health clinics. As an organisation, currently we have five service delivery channels. That's a way of us delivering very unique services to our community. So one of them is through our centres of excellence. And they are there as referral points, as training sites. They're there also to provide a very unique service to our clients. A service that is very much focused on the client's needs and wants. So we also have our social franchise, which is the Amua brand, which is in most communities here in Kenya. There's 400 of them all over. And they are there to really deliver reproductive health services really at the doorstep of the client. And then surrounding all of that, we have also our social marketing. We have unique brands and products that are high in quality and also affordable to our clients. And that's been sold all over um, Kenya. And then we have our call centre that supports all of these you know, service delivery channels, ensuring that clients know where to go for our services, our products, if they need counselling, follow up. And then we have also our outreach um, service, which goes to the community, the, you know, the hardest to reach communities in Kenya to deliver reproductive health services. So mainly family planning service, long-term services. So we work in partnership with the government as in a PPP structure, where we go with our technical team and provide services alongside the government. <laughs> Lakini mbado ile kichwa inafanya nini? Inauma. Sawa sawa. Umepatiwa dawa unakunywa lakini bado kichwa inafanya nini? Inauma. Tafadhali, ukiwa na hiyo shida kuja hospitali. What we do are matters relating to reproductive health, but most importantly is family planning. So we help our women to get children by choice and not by chance. So we do offer a range of family planning methods to include barrier methods, uh, the hormonal methods, that is the short term and the long term. Short term include things like the oral pills, uh, be it the combined or single dose, like the progestin only pills. We also offer methods like the injectables. Uh, we offer methods like uh, long-term methods, these are things like the implants, whereby there are hormonal rods inserted maybe under the skin of the either arm, so that it protects the woman for a quite considerable time. We also offer uh, IUCDs, these are devices whereby they are inserted via the birth canal of a woman into the intrauterine cavity to serve this woman as per the manufacturers as in precision. For example, uh, we have like the copper tea. This is one of the IUCD, which is non-hormonal. 
it can serve this woman for up to 10 to 12 years. So on top of that, we also offer permanent methods. This is vasectomy and also bilateral tubal ligation. Mary Stopes Kenya clinics are in major towns in Kenya, which apart from having focus on quality services, they do have friendly staff who endeavor to delight our clients. Mary Stopes clinics are clinics that offer quality reproductive health services to women, men and youth. And uh, Mary Stops has 22 clinics and one obstetric center. Among the clinics, just to mention a few, we have Pangani, we have one at Kencom House, we have one at uh, Kibera, and uh, we have one at uh, Kenyatta Market in Nairobi. In Mombasa, we have a clinic at Kongowea. We have also a clinic at uh, Ganjoni in Mombasa. We have a clinic in Malindi, and uh, we also have other clinics in Kisumu, Kericho, Meru, and uh, Nyeri, just to mention a few. Maristops clinics offer a wide range of services uh, on family planning, among which uh, we have uh, the short-term methods. These include the pills and the injections. We also have long-term methods, which include the IUDs or COIL and uh, the implants. The implants are varied. There's a three-year implant, there's a four-year implant and a five-year implant, which we offer all. And uh, we also offer the permanent methods of family planning. These include the vasectomy for men and the bilateral tubal ligation for females. And uh, apart from the family planning services, Mary Stops also offers safe motherhood services. And this include uh, safe deliveries. We also have uh, maternity services. And we also have uh, a theater in case we may need to do a delivery through caesarean section. Services we offer in Maristops clinics are short and long-term acting contraceptives, gynecological consult consultations, pre- and post-natal care, STI screening and treatment, HIV counseling and testing, laboratory services. We also have a pharmacy. We have also general medical services and pregnancy crisis counseling. When I decided to do my Atenato clinics at Mary Stops, I had no idea because I'm a, um, uh, it was the first time in it. They gave me a one-on-one -on -one step on what is expected of me as a new mother. And um, during my delivery period, of course for a new mother, everyone understands it's, uh, it's a scare. But um, with their caring nurses and uh, the, the attendants, all of them, it was fun for me and uh, I had quite a good experience because um, they could answer to every question that I asked them and they could attend to everything that I need. And uh, after my delivery, I decided to still continue with them with my family planning. And uh, they took me through all the family planning methods that are there. And uh, what I liked about them is that they gave, my, they gave me the best as an individual because they do attend to each client as you and not as an overall outlook of everything. Mary Stops Cicely Nursing Home was established in the year 1989, initially as a clinic. This was due to the need for quality reproductive health services that was not available in the Eastlands areas of Nairobi and the environs. Um, Mary Stops Isli Nursing Home later grew into, into offer uh, safe motherhood services 
and a maternity wing was opened in the early years of uh, 2008 and this has progressed on the average we deliver about 30 women a month Tulikuja kujua mahali ya stops kwa sababu sisi hatulikuwa tupate watoto alafu mpendo mzuri akatuelekeza tuende mahali ya stop Tulipofika pale ndipo tukapokewa vizuri tukapata daktari mkubwa hapo tu akatukanzo tukapata mawaida kutoka akatupatia mawaida hapo tunashukuru alipopatia mawaida tukafuatilia Tulipoenda mahali ya stop bus tulipatiwa mawaita na hiyo kalenda na hiyo kalenda ikatusaidia size ni kwa na watoto watatu nafurahia Danku ni chuo Maria Stobas. Maisha yangu, familia yangu yote ilibadilika. Hata mimi mwenyewe naitwa Dadi na mama anafuraha tere kama sasa tunaitwa wazazi. Na shukuru Maria Stobas jinsi ambaye ilionisaidia katika maisha yangu. Nafurahia sababu Maria Stobas ilinipatia ujasiri nikapata nika watoto na sina usuni tena. Naitwa mama nikiona watoto wangu nafurahia. Mary Stopes Kenya Outreach Network consists of devoted and resilient mobile teams that go the extra mile to deliver free family planning services to the remote areas of the country where there is greatest need. They operate in more than 500 locations across Kenya. Sasa kunola kiyekiwa coil the first hizo 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 miezi za kwanza unaweza experience heavy bleeding. Unaona? Inaweza ongezeka na a few days ndiye kupanga uzazi zote ziko tuseme 99% unaweza shika mimba unaweza kosa kushika mimba hata ile ya miezi mitatu hata ile ya implant hata ile ya aina yote ya kupanga uzazi unaweza shika mimba family planning outreach means reaching out to the people with the service and um, it entails going out to the vulnerable communities and giving the people who really need the service and this means that this person who is not able to access family planning service at a cost or by choice is educated about the family planning at the peripheries and they are able to access their services for free within the, their, their places of residence. As an outreach team, we conduct various services which includes um, insertion of implants and implants we have uh, about four three categories this is the three-year implant the four-year implant and the five-year implant these are hormonal contraceptives then uh, we have the nanomonal contraceptive which takes 12 years and this is the copper T coil the intrauterine device contraceptive then we have the sterile methods. This is the vasectomy and the tubal ligation. This is a permanent method. These teams work in strategic collaboration with the Ministry of Health in delivering services to the public. Since Marie Stop started coming to work with us here, it has been a long period of time, like more than 10 years, and uh, we've seen a great improvement with how the mothers are okay responding. When we tell them that we have the group coming to work with us because we collaborate, it is not only that they work alone, even now in the rooms, they, usually, they have a nurse who, are, who is assisting them. And we would like to continue asking them to continue coming not even after maybe one or two months, but at least monthly, it will be so important, yeah. Mimi ni mekutana na hii uduma ya Maria Slobs wakali walikuwa wamepeleka uduma yao huko mashimoni pripos ndio nikaenda huko nikiwa na uoga ya kwamba naweza kuwa wanalipisha pesa ya kuhudumia watu. Kitu wa kwanza nilingojea wale wanaohudumiwa kwanza nilione kama kuna pesa wanalipa ili niweze 
kuenda sababu siku ana pesa kulipa lakini nikapata hakuna pesa ilikuwa inalipishwa niliingia hapo nikahudumiwa nikajulikana nikivaa nikipaka nikinavaa na mwili wangu ili wakaweza kuniwekea nilikuwa coil ya 6 years ambaye wakati hiyo 6 years iliisha nilipika nili, nili menopause nikaenda nikatolewa wakati nilitolewa nilipata experience ya kutosha ya kwamba nikiingia huko kijiji ni kuna uh, masomo ya kutosha kusomesha wale young mothers kuhusu mpango wa mpangaji wa usazi to realize the dream of reducing maternal mortality Mary Stopes Kenya also runs a social marketing program that distributes pharmaceutical products through various pharmacies and registered private and public facilities. Social marketing is actually the use of marketing concepts to influence behavior change in the community for social good. Uh, in this context, Mary Stopes Kenya's main objective under social marketing is to contribute towards reduction of MDG number 5, which is reduction of maternal mortalities, specifically from unsafe abortions. So in this context, Mary Stopes is geared towards um, reducing stigma on abortion, or rather destigmatization of abortion, and also contributing to av access and availability of safe medical abortion options for healthcare providers. So in an effort to reduce or rather tackle the impact of unsafe abortions on maternal mortality, the social marketing department is involved with training healthcare providers about um, the options of safe medical abortion methods. Um, we are also involved in continuous medical uh, education sessions, which includes creating awareness around um, uh, the impact of unsafe abortions and also safe medical abortion methods. In this context, Marisops went ahead and availed a pro products in the market to try and assist the healthcare providers, to empower the healthcare providers to be able to offer the services to the women in need. In this case, um, Marisops has four products. We have Mysoclear, which is a misoprostol molecule. It is indicated for all gynecological uses, up and beyond um, management of peptic ulcer disease. We do also have Mediprist, which is a mifepristone molecule, registered in Kenya in 2013, indicated for safe medical abortions up to nine weeks for those clients who qualify based on the opinion of the healthcare providers as enshrined in the Kenyan law. We also do have um, Smart Lady, which is an emergency contraceptive to fit into the needs of the same, and also an emergency contraceptive pill. So social marketing is vibrant and we're looking forward to empowering healthcare providers not only with products but also with the skills and awareness to help reduce the impact of unsafe abortions in Kenya. Mary Stops is a member of the Reproductive and Maternal Health Consortium, which is a consortium of NGOs in Kenya who are supporting the Ministry of Health in the objective or, or in the goal of reducing maternal mobility and mortality here in Kenya. Mary Stops has been uh, quite helpful in uh, assisting the Ministry of Health in uh, uh, preparing policy standards and guidelines, which is going to be used by health workers uh, to reduce maternal mortality and mobility from the big five causes of maternal deaths here in Kenya. Uh, Mary Stoops is also engaged in um, training of healthcare providers in reproductive healthcare services, and they're also engaged in distribution of uh, reproductive health products such as uh, Mysoclear, Mendipriest, uh, family planning um, uh, products and um, pregnancy test kits and uh, many other products which are being used for reproductive health care services. Formerly opened in 2007, Mary Stopes Kenya International Training Centre provides a much needed venue for training health care providers in reproductive health skills. A training centre offers health professionals an opportunity to develop and update their clinical skills in a top quality environment, thus enabling them to provide crucial RH services upon return to the health facilities in which they work. ITC means International Training Centre. It was established in 2007 by a consortium of NGOs. The main focus then was that during emergency situations like uh, earthquakes or any country where there is a coup, most places, most times, sexual reproductive health is a forgotten issue. Most people run with food, they run with health, they run with shelter, but sexual reproductive health is forgotten. So this was formed to be able to ensure that sexual reproductive health 
takes center stage like any other emergency need. The challenge then was that although they could provide the sexual reproductive health, there was a need to ensure that personnel who provided these services were well trained. They were not being trained then. So Maristops Kenya was then mandated with the idea of establishing a training center, and that was established here in Nairobi. We provide training in various areas. We provide training in areas such as family planning, post-abortion care, emergency obstetrics care, gender-based violence, sexual transmitted diseases, uh, infection prevention, medical emergency management, and recently we have also started training in cervical cancer screening and pre preventing treatment. We have so far been able to train over 700 participants from various parts of the world. The countries so far covered include DRC, Chad, Southern Sudan, Sudan, Yemen, Egypt, Liberia, Nigeria, Haiti, Uganda, Tanzania, and South Africa. In partnership with the government of Kenya and other donor partners, Mary Stopes Kenya coordinates and manages a private sector network that consists of over 400 private health service providers under the AMUA social franchising network. AMUA is a government of Kenya brand. Uh, we are in partnership with the government because it is a private, public-private partnership. Uh, we are mother company being the Marist of Kenya. We are having clinics all over the country, numbering to 400 of them. Our main reason why we came together, being a public-private partnership, partnering with the healthcare providers all over the country, is because of the declining trends in the family planning uptick all over the country. So there was a reason enough for the government of Kenya and Malist of Kenya, uh, together with the donor funding, to implement this AMUA project, which was supposed to take place and to improve the declining trends of family planning. So currently, having 400 clinics, we are able to give, as of the AMUA, me as being a coordinator, we are able to give the technical support, the training, and even the equipment to most of these clinics. Our AMUA have been co-blooded, uh, together with the MSK logo, that is Marist of Kenya, and the Amua, Bad, Amua Blood logo. Uh, we are able to offer many services, uh, including family planning, where we started. And nowadays we have incorporated integrated management for child related illnesses and even cervical cancer screening, whereby people are able to cut short because these are primary health initiative. So being there, we are looking forward to do even much better in future and even to get much funding to be able to enroll even in other programs and even to be able to upscale the existing programs. Amua, meaning decide in Kiswahili, provides underserved rural and peri-urban women and men with essential reproductive health and primary health care services. I started partnering with uh, Mary Stops in, since 2008. Since then, they have been training us on family planning, especially updating us on contraceptives and also about inserting IUD also inserting uh, implants. Also they have been providing us with the medical equipment, especially the ones that we don't have. Also they have been providing us with the uh, family planning methods like pills, depot and IUDs. Meristops has also been assisting us with the branding of our clinics every year and uh, we are happy because they look very nice and they help they also help us 
to increase our clientele. Quality is at the heart of Mary Stopes Kenya as we continue to serve our clients through these channels. Our dedicated team of quality assurers are committed to ensure that quality standards are maintained. As a quality assurance department, we, we focus a lot on quality. Quality in the sense that at the end we want the client to have a, we want to have a satisfied client. A client who is enjoying the experience within the marriage source facilities that is either in outreach, in the centers, or even in the social franchise facilities. To do this, we need we, we have to put in place some kind of systems. First, during recruitment, we're taking competent team members, people with the skills. Next, we need to capacity build them so that we can have confident team members who will be able to provide whatever services that we they, they come to receive at our marriage shop centers. Other things that we, we, we look at as a department would be um, ensuring that uh, the guidelines, systems, protocols are followed. So this ensures that the quality of services that are provided end up being good for the client. We monitor the kind of risks that we have. We ensure safety to the clients by having complication reports. Complication reports and then we have lessons learned where we get, we, we, and through discussions with the teams, we actually improve the quality within ourselves. So this is on a continuous basis. Through these complications and uh, when we sit now at even at the support office level or the head office level, we have uh, what we call the medical advisory team which sits down in qu on quarterly basis to review any complications that would happen across the systems and then we put in s uh, across the channel. So we put in systems that uh, improve improve our service delivery. So basically we find that as a department, quality is one of the core business of the company. Without quality, the, co the company cannot sustain itself. We cannot, deliver the, the, uh, we cannot deliver proper services to the women of the country. What's in store for Mary Stobes is, you know, we want to actually be, right now we are very concentrated geographically in one area. We want to be able to touch every single community in Kenya. So that means huge growth as an organization. But growth would not be compromised by quality. So we're still very much focused on delivering quality services to our clients and making sure that our clients' insight is utmost you know, making sure we really understand what our clients' wants and needs are. That's what will drive the business. What will also drive the business is also, you know, being responsive to the um, youth population. We have an exploding youth population in Kenya who don't understand their rights, who don't have the knowledge that they need. So the growth will be working alongside the youth and being responsive to them. What motivates me? to continue working, working with Mary Stops Kenya. First and foremost, before, before I became a staff, I was a client. So it's always my, I would say my joy, to want to give back to the other clients who keep on visiting our centers and make them feel at home. I treat them as part of my family, since Mary Stops Kenya is just as my family. Mary Stops Kenya has a lot of trained professional providers who can answer all your concerns and questions. Mary Stops Kenya again has a lot of clinics distributed at least in all our major towns. So I will really urge men especially to join their women in the quest of learning about family planning uh, in any of our Maristop Centre so that they can be answered to their questions and concerns. What really inspires me about working for an organisation like Mary Stopes is, you know, the other week I was driving home on a Friday evening and I, you know, I take the, one of the branded cars. I'm very proud to sit in our branded cars and I was stopped at a traffic lights and these three young women 
you know, stop me at the traffic lights, wanting to ask me questions, you know, asking me to roll down my window. At first, you know, I was a bit nervous because it was late at night and I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure what it is that they want. But as I rolled down the window, I saw that one of the young ladies had a cannula, which is a needle that goes into the back of the arm. So she's obviously been in hospital. And she said to me, please, madam, is any of your clinics open right now? And I said, yes. And I said, you know, but there were so many other cars in front of me and behind me. So I couldn't really stop. But she said, please, I need to go to your clinic. I need to see somebody today. And we always have referral cards in the car. So I, I gave her a referral card and I said, please go. We are there to serve you. You know, so that brand, you know, people know Mary Stopes. They trust us. We are a trusted provider as an organization. And we want to continue doing that because she saw me and she knew that she could come to me and I would be able to help her. And that inspires me about this organization. Mary Stopes Kenya continues to create an impact in reproductive health services to the Kenyan people. Mary Stopes Kenya, providing choices in reproductive health care.